Well, Nigel, I spoke with some business owners as well as some employees, and the theme seems to be concern and confusion. Here's how they're handling this. This Greenville sneaker shop opened around three months ago, just before reports that COVID-19 had started to spread. By stalling the entranceway, um, supplying free hand sanitizer for customers, wiping down all transactions from money to the um, screen of our POS system. Joseph Scanchilenzo reached out to the SC Commerce Department to learn if they can stay open, but he never heard back. So he's closing the storefront. As far as an essential business, retail wasn't on the list, but Again, we want to take every precaution to stop the spread, and um, we can still fulfill online orders. This letter shows Sanders Heating and Air is an essential service. So to keep working, employees now have extra sanitation supplies and are asking customers to pay from afar. When our technicians go to a home, they always put their shoe covers on when they enter the home. They always wear gloves when they're working. They always wear a mask. So now it's more essential for us to make sure as we're in customers' homes because of social distancing, it's more essential for us now to make sure that we are protected even further. Where the, the businesses and the activities are being suspended. Again, Yesterday, Governor Henry McMaster released a list of different businesses deemed non-essential that needed to close, to entertainment impact. and sports venues, plus service industries like salons and spas. But there continues to be confusion about businesses not on the governor's list. One person I spoke with over the phone didn't want to use their name for fear that they could lose their job at an upstate cleaning company that's still open. Some people may think we are essential because we do help out older people that can't potentially clean their house and stuff like that. But we're also putting them at risk going in from one house to another, using the equipment, the same equipment. And, you know, we aren't certified to sanitize. We can't 100 percent guarantee that we aren't spreading something. I mean, we can do the best we can, but it's just not guaranteed. Now, again, some businesses know if they're essential or non-essential, and some businesses, they say if they're not on the list, they're not really sure. So to answer that question, the state does have a designated phone line. You can see it there on your screen, as well as an email address. You're going to want to reach out to find out. And again, all non-essential businesses were ordered to close by 5 this evening. Again, if you still have questions, you are urged to call that number or email the email you see on your screen. Live in Greenville, Renee Wonderlich, WY. IFF News 4.